So this is your regular class, right? Six o'clock? Any bass players? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hand shot up right away. Got a few. Nice, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, how about any guitar players? Whoa! Got some guitar players. Do you have any drummers? Yay, wow, excited drummers. We were very honored to come in here and, and be able to uh, sit with you for a little bit, play. Thank you for Do a little Q&A, maybe, ask some questions. You can ask us some questions. When guys like me and Bumblefoot, we've been playing guitars for our whole life. I started at age 11. One of them is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame over in Cleveland, Ohio, which is kind of cool. Uh, one that I played on a very famous Megadeth song called Peace Sells But Who's Buying. Um, it kind of goes like... <laughs> about to go through the whole song. <laughs> and then I heard on the school bus radio, I heard rock and roll. And that's what really changed my life. And for some reason, I heard the bass, right? Right, I'd hear these cool bass lines, and I was like, man, I, wanna, I don't know what that is, but it's really long, and it has really fat strings. And it seems like all the cool guys in the band play it, right? So I'm wondering, did you guys feel like outsiders? Did you guys feel pushback on doing what you do now, especially in the genre that you both are in? In a way, almost like feeling like you're championing the underdog was part of that, or, or discovering uh, the best kept secret musically that you share with people. And, and having this almost exclusive group that you're connected with. Sometimes there was a bit of that that you take pleasure in. I was making demos. I figured out how to make my own multi-track <coughs> recording system using multiple cassette recorders, and, and we would make demos like that. We'd make our own merch. I would hand draw these comic books. Uh, it wasn't good, but I was making something. And I learned a very valuable lesson from that. You don't need what you don't have. Don't ever look at what you don't have and, and look at yourself like, I can't do this because I don't have this. It's not true. All you need is your creativity and whatever you have around you is all you need and you can make anything work. When you're a musician, no matter how successful you get, you're always still a fan and yeah. you're always still inspired by, you're, you're always that little kid still. You always are. Like we're driving down the road listening to music, talking about records we grew up on. We're still fans as much as we're professionals in our sort of day job, as we always call it, but it's, it's not a job. You know, they call it playing music. It's not working music. It's called playing music. So speaking of that, let's hear you guys play. You guys want to, can you play us a song? You want us to play with you? Should we jam with you? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. There we go.